A device that a DSU faculty member initially developed in his home is already making life easier for some. Catalan's Kelly Volk shows you the power block and what it does. Justin Blessinger is the director of ADAPT Lab at Dakota State University's MAD Labs. The idea for the power block sparked after a conversation he had with his colleague Chris Olson. I have a lot of neck pain. I'm a quadriplegic, so I have plates in my neck, and in the winter I get very cold, so I wanted to have a USB-powered scarf. He also wanted a way to charge his cell phone from his wheelchair. This device can get both of those jobs done. One end of the power block plugs into the charge socket on a powered wheelchair or scooter. And when it plugs into that, instead of charging the chair, it's drawing the charge from the chair and it's allowing the user of the chair to power any number of devices. Blessinger has been granted a provisional patent for the device. We are going to be able to offer both USB and uh, the 12 volt cigarette lighter style uh, adapted. The power block is currently being tested. Olson depends on the device. Ever since I've had it, you know, now it's something that I really utilize and I think I'd be lost without it. If we can figure out a way that makes things just a little bit easier for our friends and coworkers and family who use powered chairs, then I, I want to be a part of that. Now the power block is powering that mission. In Madison, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. While Blessinger first developed the power block independently, a grant allowed him to take it to campus and work on it with students.